this is Tina Childress and I'm here to talk to you about a new feature for Google Meet. Last night there was some chatter that um, Otter AI is now available as a Chrome extension for captioning Google Meet meetings and so I wanted to show you a little bit about what that looks like. So I'd also like to introduce my daughter Maddie, She'll, she's going to join us today to demonstrate what it's like having a meeting with more than one person, um, which I guess is technically what a meeting would be. So as you can see at the bottom of your screen, these are the standard captions that you see in Google Meet. Very easy to access. You just click on the CC button in the bottom right hand part of the screen and it automatically comes up. Um, it works for every meeting, whether you are a participant or you are a host. It's integrated in the app. You don't have to download anything and you don't have to pay for it. It's, it's all just kind of part of the, the app, which is now free for everyone to use. So as you can see, it's indicating that I am the one that's talking. I'm going to ask Maddie to say just something short and then you'll see how it switches over and indicate that she is speaking. Hi, my name is Matt. Happy to be here. What is your name again? Madeline Children. Okay, so you know, that's one of the things with autocorrect and auto spell. Um, she does not actually spell her name that way, um, much to her chagrin. Um, I spelled it the wrong way that no one else really spells. So you know, that's always a thing about automatic speech recognition. Sometimes their, their spelling and their dictionary is limited and it can be, um, you know, hard to fix that. So let's show you um, the new Chrome extension and it's called um, Otter AI Chrome extension. And so I have gone ahead and downloaded it and added it to um, my Chrome browser. It seems to only work in Chrome. I will add, let me add this link here in the chat box, if I can find the chat box, and then you can see where it is. And so let's show you how it works. So it looks, you know, pretty much like the standard um, Otter where you will hit record and so I'm going to leave the, the Google Meet captioning on just so that you can see it all working at the same time. So I will hit record and you will see that the captioning is happening here on the side. Um, Maddie, can you just say something really quick? What's the weather like today? Well, I'm not really sure as I haven't gone outside yet, but it's definitely been relatively warmer nowadays as compared to earlier, at least yesterday. I was outside yesterday. Thank you. So as you can see, when Maddie talked in the Google Meet captions, it indicated that she was talking. However, when you look at the Otter um, output here on the right, this is what they're calling transcript. And so it, it's not indicating that there are actually different speakers happening. Now, uh, that's this mode right here. It's called um, open transcript, I guess. Now, if I click on the closed caption button, I'm going to put this side by side and you can move this window around, which I think is kind of cool. So I'll just stick it here kind of in the middle and I'm going to talk right now. Hey, Maddie, what happens when you start talking? Let's see. Well, when I start talking, I'm guessing that something happened, but I cannot see it from my phone. Okay, so Maddie does not have it on her phone. So, you know, that's another thing as opposed to the Google Meet captioning, which she can see um, just by clicking the CC button. So um, I'm going to tell you what I see on my end, Maddie. I see the captioning, but again, it's not indicating who's talking. Um, like what Google Meet does, which I think is kind of a, a deal breaker for me because that's one of the things that I find most advantageous to Google Meet is the fact that it indicates who's talking. So you can also see that the captions are, are pretty much accurate. Um, of course, there's going to be a few things that aren't always going to be right, like spelling 
they seem to both be pretty synchronous, meaning there's not a significant delay. Of course, I am speaking in a quiet location with a good internet connection. Um, I am not using my Bluetooth microphone, which I typically do, because I have found that when I use a Bluetooth microphone, sometimes it, it makes it hard for my computer to understand that I'm the one talking. So if there's something that indicates who's talking, it doesn't always happen when I am using the Bluetooth microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this down here a little bit and and tell you a little bit more about these two things. So with Google Meet, if you didn't know, you can save the transcript, but you have to download another extension. And that extension is what this little icon is here. It's called Tactic. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that link also into the chat box. And Tactic is a Chrome extension again that you download and you log in and then it will automatically um, save the transcripts from the Google Meet transcripts that you see embedded within this app. Okay, so, you know, so when you look at Google Meet, it's free um, and the Google Meet captions, it's integrated um, into the platform. All you have to do is press the CC button um, you do have to use another Chrome extension called Tactic, T-A-C-T-I-Q, to be able to save the transcript. Okay, so now with this new Otter integration, um, it is free to download, but it does depend, uh, like how much you can use it for free depends on the plan that you have. Um, for those of you that are using the Otter um, basic plan, um, it's up, it's still up to 600 minutes per month. That's free. And then if you wanted to buy the pro, which is the next level up, there is a monthly fee that comes to that. Um, you do need to download it as an extension, which is what you see up here in the upper right hand corner. Um, now, again, all you have to do is press the record button. So it's pretty easy to use. I found that also when you are done, so I'm going to go ahead and pause Otter and actually stop the recording. And you can see that it says that your audio transcript is saved into your Otter account. So if I were to open my account just by typing otter.ai into a web browser, then um, you can see the transcript. Oh, I should mention, I didn't demonstrate this, but the third way that you can view the Otter transcript, so one is seeing that floating window that you can move around, two is seeing the transcript on the side. The third way that you can see it is you can actually, it, there's a like look at it in web browser or something like that and you click on it, it'll open a separate web browser and you can see the captions there. So. What you can do with that is you can share that link with someone else. So Maddie, you were saying that you couldn't see the captions, but if I shared that link for Otter AI, if you were on a computer, say, instead of your phone, then you could open up that web browser link and then you could see the captions as well. So that's one thing that's, um, that's kind of cool. Um, what I'm also noticing too, so the, the captions that kind of float around um, you can only see that for a brief amount of time, you know, however many lines that you have visible on the screen, whereas the Otter transcript is a transcript. And so let's say you zone out for a little bit and you're like, oh, what did they say? Then you can look at the transcript and it's still available on the side versus the captions that's on the bottom or the same thing. You'll have more text if you're looking at it in a browser. Um, it's a little bit more seamless in terms of saving um, the transcript. It just goes straight to your um, Otter account. And kind of that's all. I just wanted to show you a little bit about something I learned today and just playing around with it. So thank you, Maddie, for joining me on this meeting this morning. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.